Well, we are back in the Czech Republic after a little bit over a week up in Poland. Jake is heading back to Kansas City today, as a matter of fact. I guess he goes to New York today. I took the bus down from Katowice to Olomutsa, which is where I am now. O-L-O-M-O-U-C. Olomutsa. Ah. Oh. So I'm actually staying out in Prostoho. Prostoho. Czech words are difficult. Uh, it's about 10, 12 miles from here. So I took a bus ride in with the unfriendliest bus driver I have ever met in my travel experiences. I showed him my ticket and asked if I was on the correct bus and he just kind of grunted, shook his head. I'm like, all right. Then he thumbed me to take a seat. So I got here. I'm not sure what the hell is going on there. Then I jumped on a tram, the X4, which looked like it would take me right into the city center. And it would have if I would have got on the correct one. Uh, I went the opposite direction. So where I was at the tram station was about a 20 minute walk into the city. When I got off the tram, it was a 30 minute walk into the city so with that being the case instead of getting on another tram i just said to hell with it and i walked in into the city i'm just on the outskirts of it now i'm going to try to find the central square the centrum if you will and just explore a little bit oh also right when i got off the tram it was spitting raindrops and within about 10 seconds it was in a deluge and I had to stand under one of these little low outcropping roof hangovers to try to stay dry. Which I managed to do for the most part, except my legs and shoes somewhat. But it came down steady for about 10 or 12 minutes and see all the pools of water. So I finally went across the street to the uh, grocery store, the villa, and I grabbed a grilled chicken baguette, a Diet Coke, and some baked Lay's, and had a little lunch. Well, I let the waters recede a little bit. So, everybody's on this right turn here. She so gonna let me go. I'm gonna hope that they slow down. They do. That one had, that was not a crosswalk sign there. So, while it was a crosswalk, it was go when you can. A lot of historical buildings in Olomutsa. There's also a botanical gardens that I wish to explore. Uh, all of it looks like it's relatively close to the city center. So I'm just gonna spend the afternoon, hopefully not dodging raindrops, but seeing the sights. Hello from Olomutsa, Czech Republic. August the 2nd, where's the summer going? This is St. Michael's Church here in Olomutsa. These statues were from 1735, 1735, almost 300 years ago. And they used to be on the Imperial Road leading to Berno, which is just maybe an hour's drive from here, but they were moved here to St. Michael's in the early 1900s that according to the statues of the painful rosary sign Interesting. so i had to go up a little bit of a hill to get here Something like this. still haven't made it to the center yet but i saw the sign leading up this way so i thought it was worth a look Very 
take a peek in maybe. Looks like that's a little bit under construction. Looks like there's a few tourists in town today. I reckon anybody with a backpack slung over their shoulder is probably touristy. lady up there was shaking out her rug and I was walking right underneath. I just heard this big pop sound. I felt something was falling off the roof. Yeah, the sound from up above the roof, it kind of startled me. <laughs> and, uh, I don't think I can go this way. Um, I was in Budapest a couple, couple summers ago having lunch out on the, uh, on the patio of this restaurant. And all of a sudden, off the top of our roof came all this plaster and mortar um, that just became jarred loose. And it just slid down the entire roof right on top of me. Well, fortunately, I was under an umbrella, so the umbrella got most of it. But I still ended up with a plaster in my hair and on my shoulders and all that stuff. And uh, people were very apologetic. They let me move inside, which I said, thank you very much. Because I didn't want to uh, I walk up this way and go down this direction. I didn't want to uh, take a chance that more stuff was going to fall down. And they didn't even charge me for my meal. So, uh, it was very, very kind of them. Probably didn't want a bad Yelp review or Google review, but I wouldn't have done that anyway. They were very nice people. But yeah, so, people tell the story about the roof fell in. Budapest. Havana Club. Alright, let's go look for the center. Yeah, just a short walk down from St. Michael's. I haven't turned this corner yet, but I think I found the square. Every city in Europe has a square. Oh my. Whether it's Poland, Czech Republic, Germany, any town with any sort of size to it. Even out in Prostohov where I'm staying. It's got a little city city square. Walked through there last night. Of course, it was Sunday, so not a whole lot happening. Bought a kebab. It was the worst one I've ever had. I ate about a quarter of it and pitched it. Went and got pizza with spicy peppers on it. Had about half of it. And that just laid on me the entire night. The spicy peppers were not a, a good idea. This is Caesar's Fountain.
little Las Vegas like there. Caesar's Palace, Caesar, Caesar's Fountain. Then you have the requisite Caesar's Restaurant. All the coats of arms up there. These stones are sure pretty to look at, but they are not much fun to walk on. And since the rain has moved out, we've got some folks sitting out on the patio. Join an early afternoon or late afternoon cocktail. Almost early evening. Every square is just surrounded by shopping and dining. And then uh, just incredible statues and artwork sit in the middle. Statue was built in 1716. 300 years ago. Before the US was even thought of to be a country. By a few years. for the sixth or seventh largest town in the Czech Republic. They do pretty well. Yeah, finishing up this day in Olomouca. Just went to the mall, bought a couple of new t-shirts. Walk through the park a little bit. And this is actually the second, I guess you would call it maybe the secondary square. Um, so it's not the main one, the really, really big one. It's just a little bit smaller. I did have an iced cream in here earlier today. And now I think before I head out of town for the evening, I may stop and have a cold Pilsner or Quell and then try to make my way back to uh, my Airbnb. Prostahoff. Prostahoff. The rain has kind of lingered around, honestly. Uh, got a couple more showers off and on. So I stopped and had a 5 p.m. cappuccino. That's not something that normally happens in Europe. But it sounded pretty good to me and it got me out of the rain for 20 minutes or so. Just a real quick shower. I had this Greek grill that looked pretty, pretty tasty earlier. I don't see anybody sitting out right now, so I don't know. It looks like it might be just like a takeaway counter. So I might bypass that, walk back down towards the, uh, the other square. Try to find that uh try to find that pilsner. Not a whole lot going on here. Monday evening about 6:30. Still some clouds. Looks like it might still rain yet again. Actually looks like it's about 10 till 7 according to that clock. So time for a beer, maybe two, and then make my way back. Good evening from Old Woods. <laughs> 